Hey guys, Adam with Quipton Dorm here with Robbie. Hey Robbie. <laughs> Robbie's not in that much of a talkative mood because he just he's been up for probably 24 hours straight driving up here from North Carolina. So he's with me now in a PA. We're actually at our favorite super center, Walmart. Hey Walmart. And I think this is gonna be same this video, the $20 uh, bush crafting challenge. So we're gonna take a journey into the sporting goods section and uh, pick out a little kit just from shopping at Walmart for a low price. We'll see how we'll see how we do for that for the for the common man. We can do it. <laughs> All right, we'll be back, guys. So, guys, we're walking up to the sporting goods section right now, but I think we're gonna have to also look at some other inventive ways. Maybe stop by the uh, paint section to get some really cheap tarps for our shelter. So we'll be right back. All right, 10 foot by 20 foot tarp. I mean, that's enough material to to block some rain. Two dollars and 47 cents. So that's definitely going on the list. So shelter, I think, is covered. Let's find some cheap quarters in here. So guys, remember, it's all about innovation and being able to improvise. So the better we do that, the more things that we can find for a lower price. So this will be a fun little challenge. All right, so here we have some jute twine. Seven pounds, 190 feet, so that's pretty good. You know, that's a double hank almost. Dollar 47, so we're still under five bucks right now, and we have our shelter and our cordage already. The next thing we're looking for some kind of vessel water can, uh, container or you know water storage or water storage system uh, so we'll look around and now we actually finally made it to sporting goods so this might be the priciest item on the list next to some kind of cutting tool but we'll figure it out here in a second so here we have a uh, kind of like a clean canteen off-brand stainless steel bottle made in China oh, hopefully that's stainless steel <laughs> what do you think <laughs> All right, let's read the instructions on this one. Do not microwave. High quality, food grade, stainless steel. That'll rock, that's rock and rolling. And for a $5 cost, that'll work. All right, doing pretty well thus far. So now we're in, uh, that's right, we're in the kitchen section to find a great blade. So what do we got here, Robbie? Uh, Little sheep foot design action. Yeah, five inch. Full tang, drop forged. It's high carbon. High carbon. Uh, Six ninety seven. With a lifetime warranty. There we go. Lifetime warranty. I wonder if that's gonna cover our use. I doubt it. <laughs> but when we break it we can send it back and see. <laughs> hey, Walmart brings back everything unless they watch this video. So I think six ninety seven is gonna be good. Let's try it. Alright. Well guys, we did come up with a little snafu in reference to our fire making abilities. The issue being is there's these little green waterproof canisters that have a flint on the back of them. They're perfect for your fire starting. They're a dollar. Come with matches already in there. So it's a water taken container that has matches and also has the, the uh, ferrocene, not flint, a ferrocene. Start striking with a carbon br uh, blade. Striking with a carbon blade makes a great spark. So we don't have any of those here. They're out of stock today. Usually they have them. I have one back at home, so I'll show that in the video. But this kind of go over what we have so far. So, we got our container, our vessel, water storage. We can also throw a majority of our stuff actually rolled up in here if we're not carrying water for our kit together. Five bucks. The Husky one mil plastic drop cloth. How much is that one? Uh, 297, I believe. Two, two, nine, 247. 247. And uh, the knife. Let's check out the knife action. That one's the most expensive item, 697, but it's actually very cheap for the quality of knife. Now, of course, something like that's not going to last you forever, but it'll. It'll cut something, right? It'll cut. <laughs> and then our jute twine, which I think was like 170 something. So, all right, we'll throw this together. We're gonna go uh, check out real quick and we'll see what we got. Uh, so we do have to add the dollar, but I still think we'll be under budget. We'll all be right. under budget. Oh, they're aluminum? Oh, we saw a $3 bottle real quick. Oh, 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 hold on. It's bad. Stainless steel. It's got that coating on it. That'll melt off. Maybe. <laughs> all right, we'll just melt all together. We might have just saved two bucks on our canister. Ooh, what do you think? That's a pretty pronounced seam in there. Yeah, that seam will definitely be melted off. Is this seam melted from the outside? Oh yeah. What do you think? That one's got a seam, but it's not as pronounced. Mm, so do we save 10% of our, our budget? I mean, if we if we go with the three dollar bottle, we can get the fire the magnesium fire starter for six bucks. Or 
ramen noodles and actually eat tonight too. That's just true. Awesome. Say that one again, you're out of scene. So we can get some ramen noodles and actually eat tonight too. <laughs> hey, there's. <laughs> Mmm, ramen noodles are something like a thousand times my daily intake of sodium. <laughs> so what do you think, five dollar one or three dollar one? I don't know, what do you want? Shit, let's just do the three dollar one. Let's go for it. Let's go hard or go home. That's right. It says a eight, eighteenth and an eighth stainless steel bottle, so hell, let's just do it. One time, dude. Yeah. <laughs> We're just trying to prove a point here. Yeah. I'm never going to hear the end of this, but three big lighters for a dollar fifty-eight, so that's going to meet our threshold. Okay guys, here we go. We're here. Let's start counting up. The big letters, dollar sixty-eight, the water bottle, three bucks. The juice wine. Six forty-one for the juice wine. Our shelter mix material. Oh, we're still under ten bucks. Here we go. Oh, sixteen forty-two. Wow, we get a pack of gum. <laughs> All right, that's pretty. That's pretty much it, guys. Well, hey guys, I gotta I gotta pay for this real quick. But hey, this is Adam from Equipment Door, uh, coming live from Walmart. Uh, <laughs> if you guys have any questions or comments, you can email me at adam at equipmentdoor.com. You guys take care, be safe out there, and remember, if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared. Say bye, Robbie. Bye, Robbie. <laughs>